Yep, so sure. I forgot the tale of the jungle beast. None. The meat disappeared from there. Good story. Okay. So we'll leave you alone now. See ya. Okay, I'm kind of disappointed that I couldn't. Right. Feed the cat and heal this stuff. Well, we might be able to, but. Yeah. Oh well. She'll figure out what to do with that stuff. We'll go up here and see if we can maybe get in. Bonjour! Uh, wait Stay away from my laboratorium! Why? <laughs> monkey? It's Jock, the electromagnetic monkey. <laughs> That's a little monkey friend. That. Hey, look! A five headed bonobo! Ha! <laughs> what? I didn't see nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, must have been a weather balloon. <laughs> yeah, so sure. Okay, let's see what happens when he feeds the cat. She'll feed the cat. I hope Miss Pretty Whiskers likes all the iron I've added to her diet. I hope Miss Pretty... Okay, not quite sure. Um... Not quite sure what that would do, but... And pulling's in. Ow! What the heck is DeSinge doing up there anyway? Okay, that's maybe a use for our cup. No, nope, don't want to do that. Ooh, sizzly. <laughs> you know, if I was a little more scientifically inclined, I might be worried about the effects this stuff is having on any future generations of three points. Okay. <laughs> Um, I think that's it. Um, I don't think there is any way that I can... Let's see if this will work. Aha! <laughs> Come on, let's get you out of here! Hey, come with me, monkey. Hey, yeah, you little friend. <laughs> I got my monkey friend. Oh, oh, now can I finally get the cat out of its shock because monkey is electric oh and that's why I put the um iron fillings in there okay so it should actually work one thing I've learned the hard way over the years is that you should never pull a monkey out of your pocket until the most dramatically useful moment and that goes triple for an electromagnetic monkey okay so I need to go back into court to be able to get that so let's head back to court and hopefully it should work now Okay, you want to get back in. Who go? Oh, it's you. Yeah, hi. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty, the pirate court of Flotsam Island. Yes, yes. Okay, so I want to call on McGee again. I'd like to call Hemlock McGee back to the stand. Um, I'm right here. I yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's go and give this cat some electrotherapy. Your Honor, Pirates and Assorted Buccaneers, Hemlock McGee has asserted that it was I, Guybrush Threepwood Mighty Pirate, that brought about the horrible emotional scars that even now leave poor Miss Pretty Whiskers paralyzed with fear. But I put it to you that it was not your humble defendant who traumatized Hemlock's unfortunate feline, but a far more insidious assailant, the one who's in this very courtroom as I speak, Jacques, Jacques the Monkey. But, Objection! There's no evidence of monkey play here. No? Let's ask the victim. <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers! <laughs> Miss Pretty Whiskers is up and about and seeking revenge just like a good pirate cat should. Miss Pretty Whiskers, come back! <laughs> we'll get our revenge together! Your Honor, I rest my case. Mr. Prosecutor! Well, considering that my client and evidence just ran out the door, I guess old Stan's gonna have to drop this one. Good idea! In the case of McGee and Pretty Whiskers versus Threepwood, the Pirate Court of Flotsam finds in favor of the defendant, 
Guy brush three points. Come on, Judge, get him with the pox. Don't make me send the bailiff up there. Okay, so that gets rid of that one. Wow, that bacon grease is still burning. Oh yeah, <laughs> well we did that all the way back in like chapter one. I uh, wonder if I can pick this up maybe. Aha. I just got to get some of this incredible bacon grease. There, now my jacket and my pants smell like bacon. Yay. Okay, it's robot, robo, yeah, cannot speak, robot here, can I maybe use that? I could roll back to the screaming narwhal, but without La Esponja Grande, I'll never be able to cure Elaine. And if I show up without Elaine's wedding ring, she'll probably kill me. Yeah, probably. Two more. I've got I better one get here. some of this before it cools. I'm not quite mm, sure why I'm getting all warm. this. I'm <laughs> not quite sure why What's I'm that? getting all this. Arr, you best watch your step. That'd be a puddle of molten glass. It'll cool down in a few seconds, but until it does, it'll melt your boots off. Okay, I'm still not quite. Sure, why I'm getting all this stuff. But might as well collect it all. I uh, don't know what to do. That's why you should have a lawyer, you blithering bladder skate! Sorry. Look, three point, it's pretty easy. You can call witnesses for any of the cases. Once they're on the stand, you can question them, confront them with evidence from the evidence table, if it's pertinent to the case or attempt to confront them with new evidence that you've brought into court. You'd best be careful about that last one, though. <laughs> Nothing gets on me nerves more than a defendant attempting to clog my court with useless chunks of jetsam. And of course, you can always ask for a recess so you can check your briefs. Thanks. Okay, hold on. Um, try and call myself up to the... Thing. Your Honor, I'd like to call Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, to the stand. Guybrush Threepwood! I'm right here. Oh, right. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? Ooh, what's this log made of? Calf leather? You just can't find craftsmanship like this these days. <coughs> oh, I do. <laughs> oh, God, we're gonna really do this. Okay. Captain Threepwood, where were you on the night of August 15th? I was on a date with your wife. Why, you? <laughs> You're dead, Threepwood. Order! Oh, no. I will have order in my court! Or oh, so help me, I will shove this gavel down your stinking windpipes! Oh, God. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hold that crazy pose. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. Ah, finally. Right, where were we? Okay, that means we can actually get that other guy. So, um, we'll take a recess. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Oh yeah, Your Honor. Okay, now we can get this other guy to be with us. Okay, so we will need hey, to God. get out. What do you want? Okay, lawyer. I want to see again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he's not getting any smarter. Okay, let's give the eye to this guy. Captain Doro, do you have it? One nigh indestructible glass eye, pox colored. Just like all the cool pirates are wearing. Achi Santa Pica and Santa Fe! Ay, 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 ay! My eye is really scary! 
Now, according to Crimpdigit, all you have to do to set it is pop it in your eye socket. Ew. Ooh. <laughs> How do I look? Dangerous. I think you mean dangerously cool, eh? Sure, whatever. Now, about your testimony. No problem, mi amigo. Just call me back to the stand and ask me about this. Your Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate's treasure map? I just smuggle this into here. In my, uh, let's say, mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Okay, we can finally get this one down. And we only got the girl to go and then... Who go? We should oh, have... It's you. Well, witnesses. Okay, we're gonna get into the like court. Alright, the pirate co Yes, yes, get... Yeah, we go, we go. Okay, call witness. And... Um, Doro. I'd like to recall Captain Doro to the stand. Can someone pull Doro out of his cell? The court would like to remind Captain Doro that he is still under oath. See? Okay, so, um, the map. Captain Doro, what can you tell me about this map? Objection! Defense Exhibit 42, Your Honor. This is the map the witness used to find his Dark Ninja Dave power pirate. I'll allow it, but shut your eternally flapping mouth, you festering chum hole! <laughs> poor guy. Continue. I purchased this map at eBay six months ago from a traveling salesman with a plaid jacket and waving arms. He said that it was an authentic <laughs> Dark Ninja Day Porcelain Power Pirates treasure map, but I have since learned that it was just as counterfeit as the Power Pirate it led me to. And who was the dastardly swindler who sold you this map? It was... Hey, would you look at that? I misfiled my glorious mundus. Your Honor, on behalf of the Porcelain Power Pirates Corporation, I'd like to ask that all charges pertaining to the unfortunate counterfeiting of the Dark Ninja Dave action figure be dropped against Captains Joaquin de Oro and Guybrush Threeport. Smart move, Counselor! In the matter of Porcelain Power Pirates versus De Oro, De Oro versus Threeport, etc., 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 this court finds in favor of the defendants! Yay! Call this justice! Where's the hangings? You want hangings? Just keep it up, you swabs! Okay. So, um, I actually end the part here, because I'm kind of going over time there, but hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to, um, get the last witness and you know, I should hopefully be able to go free so yeah I'll see you guys next time